The owner of the Lush studio here tells me she knew something was up when one of the suspects started asking questions about her most expensive plants. He was showing me pictures on his phone of all these plants that he had at home, but he was naming it all different. They were wrong. Tina Pond says around 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon, a man and a woman walked into her flower shop. You know, he went over, over here and over there, seeing which one costs more. He was really fidgety, like on his phone. So he was walking back and forth over here. And that's when he asked if I, he can see a plant back here. The display case housing the most expensive plants in the shop. After a few minutes talking to him about it with the plant in my hand, I just put the plant back, locked up the display case, thinking, OK, it's safe in there. Nothing is going to happen. Let him be and then go back to this other customer. That other customer, the man's alleged accomplice. I went back to the register part, and that's when a lady came up to me, and that's when she started doing her job as to distract me. Pond says the woman started asking her random questions, going on and on, when she says she heard a crack from the display case. I looked this way, and that's when the display case was open. I'm like, OK, my plant's gone. And I looked, and he was halfway out the shop. Surveillance video showing Pond chasing the man down. I got him by the door. I think it was probably his collar or uh, his, you know, his sleeve. He was wearing a long sleeve shirt and I was pulling him back and forth. I had a good grip on him at first. Then he just turned around and he slammed the door on my pinky, which is still a little bruised now. The chase didn't stop there. Pond says the man ran down the street, threatening to have a knife before jumping into someone's backyard. Now they're going to go down for assault, you know. That's, it's not just stealing anymore. He assaulted me and he threatened me with a knife, so that's not right. Pond says the fear that something like this will happen again is still lingering. You feel safer in this business still? <sighs> um, honestly, no. But she says that won't stop her from protecting her business. A lot of people say I shouldn't have ran after him. I shouldn't have done this over a plant, but that's not that's not the case here. I was protecting my business and whether it was a $12 plant, a $300 plant, I'm still going to go after you if I see you walking out of here of my shop with a plant. In Stockton, Danica Hill, KCRA 3 News.